Hi, Prelude Balance. How are you guys? First of all, I want to tell you that I'm so pleased with all your videos. You, you guys all look so great. I'm so glad. And uh, I'm also very excited that um, for the next few weeks, we are going to try to learn our um, songs for uh, May recital. And uh, we've already learned how to pitch, right, using our uh, right hand. And uh, today I'm going to teach you how to um, combine every, all the exercises that we've learned for the past few months and uh, to try to see if we could apply that <clears throat> to our real bow. Now, let's review a little bit um, bunny hand bow hold first, okay? Um, it's very important because then you will know exactly how your fingers are going on your bow, right? Um, now, make sure that <clears throat> we are making a K for our bunny, right? And this is our violin first finger, one, two, three, four, okay? The second and the third finger are rounded and your thumb goes right here, directly under the first line. You see this? Okay, not the tip, okay? It's a little bit different than the donut hand. If it's a donut hand, we goes to the tip. If it's a bunny hand bow hold, we go right here, under, okay? All right, this is what it looks like, okay? So it's a bunny hand. And of course, you also remember the flip bunny hand bow hold. Right, this, okay. So you can still go back and forth to work on this, okay. Now, <clears throat> before we actually play on our violins, I'm going to show you how to get a good bow hold um, on your boat. Okay, so let me place my violin down a little bit. Okay. Um, First of all, um, let's review a little bit. Your left hand is your violin hand, right? And your right hand definitely is your bow hand. So I want you to use your left hand, which is a violin hand, to hold a bow stick like this, roughly one third from the tip. Okay, so right now, and make sure you don't touch the hair, okay? We don't want to make the hair dirty so the rustle won't get on it at all in the future, right? Okay. Now, <clears throat> hold your bow using your left hand, the violin hand. Okay. Now, make sure, this is my bow hand. Make sure your thumb is rounded. Okay. You're going to find a donut sticker right here. Okay. I don't have it right now with on my bow, but yours has it. It's around here. Okay, right here. Okay, if I use a pen to point, it might be clearly here. Okay, this is where your donut stickers will be. Okay, right here in between this and the stick. Okay, so you're going to make sure your thumb is rounded. Okay, and hold your bow using your Falling hand, okay, make sure your thumb is rounded. Gently place your thumb inside the donut sticker, okay? And just, just fall the rest of the fingers on top of the stick. Okay, can you see this? Okay, so first of all, you find your thumb first. Thumb rounded inside the donut sticker and the rest of the finger is freely falling on. Okay, can you see this? And make sure that your pinky is on the top of the stick right here. Okay, so when you bow this way, your, 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 your hand will look like this. Okay, all right. Now, let's try to see if we can actually use the this bow hold and to play something on your violin. Okay. So we are going to go to our 
holding position, just this. Okay. Now it's important that your bow is resting in between the bridge and the fingerboard. Okay, right here in between. So your bow is going to go right here. Okay. You see this? Yeah. Okay. All right. If you still have trouble holding the bow, okay, I want you to go back and forth practice until you can do it without um, the help from your left hand. Okay. It will be easier to hold your bow pointing up this way. Okay. Because right now, like the bow is barely, it has any weight. It's weightless. Okay. So I'm going to try to see if I can play a couple of notes. Oh, so I forgot to mention, you are going to find another sticker right here. It's roughly one third from your frog. Okay. This is what we call a balance point. A balance point. My, let me try to find my balance point. Okay. It's when your bow can balance at the point. Can you see this? Okay, you can. So it's a very, very fun trick. You can try to see if you can find the balance point on the bow. Okay, so I've, I found all the balance point from all your bows, and then I put a sticker right here. I, I believe it's yellow, but I'm not sure. Okay, so that's the place that you are going to put on. Um, top of the string okay and i'm going to try to find the a string okay so place my balance point in between the fingerboard and the bridge okay make sure you have a good bow hole and let's just do four short bow stroke okay ready one two three four one more time one two Nice. Okay. And try to see if you want to play around with other strings. Okay. So the most important thing for today's flick grid is to learn a good bow hold, a relaxed bow hold. Okay. So you can make a very pretty sound on your violin. All right. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Happy practicing. Bye.